So I wanted to do a video on this for a little while, finally getting around to it. This is the Pro Front Wheel Drive Cobalt SS. This is an actual GM factory car, tube chassis race car, I should clarify, from the mid-2000s. Um, the history is a little tough to figure out. I think this was actually either a Cobalt or a Sunfire in the earliest iterations that GM had. And they rebodied it and turned it into a show car uh, to look like the Jason Hunt Maco Tools car of a couple years later, like 07 ish, I believe. Um, this is not the Jason Hunt race car. Uh, I believe there's two current pro front cars that are down in uh, Brazil currently racing. Uh, they run like the low to mid sevens, um, similar times of what they would have run 10, 12 years ago. Uh, one of them is the old uh, Maco Tools car, the original car. I think one might be, I can't remember, it might be the Lucas Oil car. There's also the, um, what else did you have? You had the Red Bull car. I think there's one more of those, maybe. So let's do a quick walk around of the car. Um, like I mentioned, very, very light. Uh, chromoly tube chassis, carbon fiber body. Um, it has Mickey Thompson's front and rear, weld wheels, uh, parachute. Some of it's there <laughs> in the current kind of show car configuration. Not everything's really hooked up, but Lexan windows, uh, very, very light car. Um, one piece front end. Uh, carbon fiber also like I said very light a little tricky to put on and off with uh, one person But I kind of got a little system down to do that um, You can kind of see the funky angles when you come up front here. See how the front ends a little bit narrowed and Especially kind of from over here. You can really see how they stretched it a bit uh, dimensionally That pro front look uh, I think dimensionally the back probably from the a pillar front windshield back is pretty close to the factory car but obviously the front end is stretched so a lot of plans for this thing uh and its current show car configuration it's not going to stay that very long it is uh, uh early fall out here in colorado and bandamere is closing pretty soon so um no plans on racing this thing this thing this year um I'd like to work on it over the winter bring it out to track in the spring see what we can do with it um but I think next thing here, I'll, I'll take some of the body panels off, kind of give you a better view of what's going on inside. Um, but yeah, doors come off easily. No weight to those things. Front end, like I said, no weight to that. Uh, but yeah, let's do a little more kind of a tour with all the body panels off. Well, here it is with the front clip and doors off. Pretty easy to work on things on this car. Why don't you take that off? It's, it's all there, right in front of you. So, starting on the front end here, um, not too much to look at in this kind of current configuration. This is a stock 2.2 liter Ecotec, so that'd be out of a early um, Cavalier or a uh, early Cobalt car from the early mid 2000s. Uh, it's got the stock four speed auto transmission, um, basically just set up as a show car. Um, does have a extremely limited travel strut front suspension um, but really not too much up here really just shows you all you really need in a car to go um, the electronics are old Excel DFI which unfortunately is not really too much it's not too much support for that anymore but um, that's all gonna go away engine trans are gonna go I'm actually looking at if you can see kind of down here, the axle's kind of at a nasty angle. Um, what I'd like to do uh, with the new engine that's going to go in this, and new transmission, is actually lift up the back part, maybe even the back of the engine and trans, maybe even drop the front. Uh, try to get to that axle more straight aligned with the um, center of the wheel and the hub. Um, I actually do have a um, dry sump setup that's going to go in this, so you can really kind of put the engine at any angle you want, really. Um, so there will be some more, other than replacing what's here now, 
there is there are going to be more components obviously it's going to be turbocharged uh the engine will be configured with um like i said probably tilt a little bit forward uh like a tubular intake um throttle body off on the side and then tubing coming around to the back turbo is going to be mounted with a header that i currently have it's going to be mounted on the back here kind of hanging down low and then a quick dump out to the uh, passenger side much like the factory setup or the factory the current setup is here um a lot of st a lot of things still to be uh figured out obviously but uh try to keep some of the stuff as it is like fuel tank try to keep it there maybe might have to move but um all the electronics will be replaced suspension probably gonna stay as is uh don't really need too much suspension on these things with especially with these big front tires and i'll probably keep a radiator even though this thing's only going to do quick little passes, just keep cooling down. So I'll probably keep this radiator set up still back here. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, this is the front front end setup. Not going to change too much. Probably stick with the same wheel and tire size combo. Um, probably do need a little bit of, do a little bit of either body work uh, with the front clip here, or maybe play around with how things are mounted because they the body really just rubs on the edge of the tires um so coming around to the side here um interior is pretty sparse all you need is steering wheel a couple gauges pedals as you can see it actually does have a clutch pedal it's currently not hooked up so maybe at one point this car had a manual um i think really what it probably had and you can see there's some airlines that go into a box there's some tiny little air tanks over there I think it had an air shifter set up and probably the clutch was used maybe just to launch it or just to engage into first gear. Um, but beyond that, I'm pretty sure all the shifting was probably done up here, either here on this side. On the steering wheel, I'm guessing this is probably, I don't know for sure, I'd have to look. Maybe this was the launch and this was the shift, but not much to it. The gauge up here, unfortunately now is basically just a dummy gauge. Um, I'm gonna put a fuel tech in here, so that's gonna be replaced. Probably mount right here on the steering shaft. Um, but yeah, not much in the interior. You can see all the support bars for the chassis. I mean, basically, this is just a thin piece of aluminum, and there's the ground right there. Random bolt laying on the ground. That's always good. But yeah, it's got a tank in in the uh, driver compartment right here, and I believe. I mean, that wasn't used for fuel. I think that was actually used for uh, water. They ran an air to water intercooler, uh, which I will be running in my new setup as well. So I'll probably use that. The only negative is it's a little tricky to load. Might be easier on the passenger side here. Coming around to the passenger side, pretty simple. Not too much here. Um, these boxes on the floor are empty. I'm guessing they probably might have had electronics or... This one here in the middle had might have been something to do with the um, air air shifting. Um, two air tanks over here, tiny tiny little tanks. I believe, not 100% sure, but I believe one tank was for uh, the parachute out in the back because it actually has a pneumatic style parachute where it um, you can actually see cobwebs in here. <laughs> Classic. Um, had a, a pneumatic style parachute to release it when you would pull the lever, which up there, ironically enough, is currently set up as the, um, I guess you call it a shifter, um, to put it in on a park. <laughs> Not going to last, but that's how it currently is. So if you look at the interior here, that is actually a Cavalier fake dash, or model to look like one. Another reason why I believe it probably was a Cavalier, or maybe a Sunfire in its old racing days, uh, before they kind of turned it into a show car in, in its current configuration. Um, although I did see some pictures of some of the later GM pro front cars, uh, where they had the, uh, trans or the longitudinal engines. Um, I think they had the same dash. So maybe they just, this is the one dash they used and kind of just used it for all their race cars in that era. I'm not sure, but anyway, that's the interior. Oh, and to follow up again, the, uh, there's the tank down below. I think that was probably used, um, for air to water intercooler. Um, it's a little bit of a funky location. I'm guessing they're just trying to get all the weight as front as possible. Um, probably for now, just use that because I'm going to run a similar setup. But yeah, 
not much going on. Oh, a uh, bunch of switches down here that uh, do nothing. <laughs> one said, uh, I think one said purge. One said neutral and first, probably something to do with shifting and I can't read the third one, so. And kind of back to the front again. Um, yeah, that's that's the car. There's there's just not much to this car. I mean, front wheel drive, purpose built drag chassis race car. There's, it's all right here. Transmission, engine, exhaust, cooling, everything. And you got a little bit of the interior. The rear suspension is, I mean, it's there. It's got a little bit of a, can't quite see, but it does have a little coilover shock. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's it. So that's a quick intro to the uh, Cobalt race car. Um, got a new engine. That'll probably be in a video coming up. We'll talk about that. But should be able to handle uh, 800 plus horsepower with a decent sized turbo on it. Um, beyond that, might have to look at a different engine combo. But I do have the engine. Transmission I have not figured out yet. I uh, haven't spec'd a turbo yet, but probably will be running fuel tech. So all the current electronics in the car will just get scrapped. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the current car. A lot of stuff to go on this car. Uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, hope you're along for the ride. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.